Hello and welcome to this short introduction to agent-based modeling and NetLogo. I am Danilo Oliveira Vaz, here introducing an agent-based model, and I'll be your instructor today. In this project, we will learn about the basics of NetLogo, understanding its interface and features. And we will add some agents to a simulated world and play with them. But before that, let's talk a little bit about ABM. This is a modeling framework characterized by the existence of autonomous agents defined within an environment. These agents have their own properties and can interact with one another and the environment itself, sometimes learning and adapting. The rules that describe such interactions are programmable and adjustable, which then gives us all of the elements to simulate a wide range of complex phenomena and observe what might emerge in which one of them over time. Now, I know it's a lot to take in, but things should get clear as we move along. So, this is NetLogo. In a nutshell, it is a robust and flexible integrated development environment for the creation of ABMs. It was designed to be low threshold and no ceiling, which means that we can create many different models here. But let's begin with the basics. We are in the interface tab, which will be our focus in this project. More specifically, we will interact with the command center from where we can code our world. By default, we reach the command center as an observer. This means that we are giving orders to this world as if we were a god. So we can, for example, add the built-in command create turtles 50 to add 50 new agents to the world. Turtles, you might be asking. Well, that's the name of agents in NetLogo. Why? There's a nice story behind it but I'll leave it for you to discover as homework. And here we have our agents, but they are all crowded in one spot. And that's because the default position for new agents in that logo is the center of the world. But as a god observer, we can literally ask each turtle to move forward. This is how we do it. Ask turtles forward one. It's pretty intuitive, right? By using the built-in primitive ask, we are giving a command, characterized by the brackets, to each one of the turtles to go forward one step. Well, we can see they moved, but that was too fast. It seems that they all moved together. So if we adjust the simulation speed here on the top, we are able to see each one of them following the command individually. Ask turtles forward five. A bit slower, ask turtles forward five. Now we see it. We notice then that they are all moving straight outwards, which is also a default feature. But we can change that by asking the turtles to rotate to the right or left by some degree. So if we do ask turtles right 180 degrees we will see that they all flip directions and now they're all facing inwards so just for fun and let's speed up things a little bit let's go wild and ask turtles back 15 well now the world is a bit of a mess but thanks god we are a god so we can just clear all and boom there is of course a load of extra code to explore here but since this is just a teaser we'll stop coding now i do want to show you though this very helpful net logo dictionary here you have a huge resource to learn about all of the inbuilt functions and commands within that logo so take your time to read through it and practice and finally check this incredible model on that logo web to have a glimpse of what NetLogo can do. It simulates the spread of an infectious disease in a semi-closed population, accounting for travel, isolation, quarantine, inoculation, and links between individuals. It is pretty sophisticated and shows us some of NetLogo's superpowers. Amazing, right? With that, let's wrap up. Noticing what emerges out of these autonomous agents interacting in a complex simulated world that today sadly resembles ours. So thank you very much and I look forward to further exploring NetLogo with you. Bye bye.